hello welcome back to my channel and thank you for everyone for subscription for your subscription and thank you for subscribing to my channel okay today we are going to talk about something interesting that is related to my course that is material and methodological engineering so we're going to start with what you need to know before applying for material and methodological engineering course at Kane University that is coming from University of Science and Technology so I'm going to focus on level 100 so the department it falls under College of Engineering, Faculty of Chemical and Mechanical Engineering, Department of Material Engineering. So the Material Engineering Department has two courses under which we have the Metallurgical Engineering and Material Engineering, forming an association of or association called Matisa, which is Material and Metallurgical Engineering Department. The motto is the core of engineering technology. Let's have a brief about the course. So I'm taking metallurgy, that is metallurgy, that's my field. So metallurgy is a domain of material science and engineering that studies the physical and chemical behavior of metallic element and their intermetallic compounds and their mixtures, which are called alloy. So when you look through, it's focused on the behavior of metals. Metallurgy is distinct from the craft of metalworking. So metalworking is not metallurgy, it's different. The metal working relies on metallurgy in a similar manner to how medicine relies on medical science for ad technical advancement. So what we call a person who studies metallurgy is called metallurgist. Let's continue. So with this, first semester course outline. So if you want to apply for metallurgical engineering, this is what you must have in your mind that with first semester course outline, you're going to do seven courses, which is communication skills which is two credit hours apply electricity which is three credit hours algebra which is four credit hours technical drawing which is two credit hours with engineering technology uh, it it's in red this is because it's it's demanding it's very stressful so if you are not determined to do this course you 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 give up because it's very how will I say it? It's it's practicals. You stand for four hours, but still it is a cool course because it's 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 open your eyes to see more things. You you get to know all about every engineering technology in the world, how to operate that is based in electricity, civil, geology, everything. And we have information technology, which is two credit hours, basic geology, which is two credit hours. So making total credit hours of 17. So with this, your mark will be multiplied by these two credit hours. So if imagine you get algebra 30, you will multiply 30 by four. If you get apply electricity 40 or 70, they'll multiply it by three. So this is what you do in first semester. So you should note this before you come to the university. That's it. So you should get a background of this to make you, for you to pass in the university, as in your first semester exams, you should know this before you come into the university. Let's look at the second semester exams. With the second semester course outline, we have communication skills. That is two. That is two credit hours. Calculus with analysis. This is in red because it's very demanding, which is four credit hours. Engineering drawing is two credit hours. Basic mechanics, three credit hours. Chemistry for metallurgical engineers, three credit hours. Environmental science, two credit hours. Principle of material science, which is two credit hours. It is C, compulsory, because it is very, this course, you're going to do it for the rest of your academic year in, that's the rest of your semesters as a metallurgy, excluding first semester. So from second semester, first semester, second year, you'll be doing this course. So we need to take serious about, like, get to know more about principle of materials before applying for metallurgical engineering and with this one it comes with seven courses with 18 credit hours so we have a total credit hours of 34 it's 35 sorry and the total course in level 100 which is 14 so with this we call something cwa it is based on your credit hours the higher the credit hours that's where you must get high marks like calculus with four credit hours you should get more high mark which will boost your cwa now, I don't want to rush into CWA, but I'll come with another video 
which talks about CWA in KNUSD and how to improve on your CWA. Thank you very much. This is Prof. One. Please subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you next year in Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Do my course because it's very nice.